Welcome to Biomed Buddy. Today we are going to cover the two methodologies used for making a measurement on the STA compact. First methodology is for clotting measurements. The second methodology is photometric measurements. The detection system for clotting time assays on the STA compact is based on the increase of viscosity of the plasma being tested. This increase of viscosity is measured by the motion of a stainless steel ball that is in the cuvette. The constant pendulum swing is created by an electromagnetic field and is applied alternately on opposite sides of the cuvette by two coils. The energy of that field can be varied depending on the test being performed. As an example, for a weak clot, like for fibrinogen, and a normal clot, which would be all others. There are two coils. One coil brings the ball, moves the ball to the left, and the other coil brings the ball to the right. When the ball slows down, the other two coils monitor that movement, and when the viscosity of the sample stops the ball from moving, you have a clotting time. As simple and easy as that. All measurements are done on the measurement block, positions one through four. When needle three comes down, it starts the clock running for your clotting tests. The second methodology is for photometric measurements. Again, the measurements are taken on the measurement block, positions one through four, the front four. A light from the optical module goes through some light pipes through the cuvette and is received on the other end and goes to the, to the photometric measurement board. There are two frequencies being used, 405 and 550 nanometers. A reference fiber comes directly from the optical module to the photometric measurement board which is a means of eliminating incandescent light. To make this simple, the optical module has a motor in it and a light and a filter. The filter is moved back and forth or around depending on the style of optical module in the unit. Most of them have a round filter wheel at this point. The light goes through the filter, goes through four optical fibers, one to each channel on the measurement block, and a fifth uh, fiber, which is the reference fiber, which goes directly to the photometric measurement board. Once, once those fiber optic cables reach the measurement wells, each cable goes through the cuvette, through the sample, and received on the other end. So you have four fiber optic cables, which go to the photometric boards from the measurement block. From there, the photometric measurement board goes to the CPU measurement board out to the main CPU. Thus, you get your display of your test results. Thank you very much for attending this session of the Biomed Buddy trainings on the STA Compact.